This is a podcast from Torvine Voluntary Alliance. Hello, I'm Patrick Downs. Welcome to Word from the Third, where we'll be taking a look at all the big stories and news from the third sector here in Torvine. Ellen Nation is an education officer at the Welsh Parliament or the Senate. We last heard from her and her colleague Larry during the election in 2021 and the Votes in 16 campaign. And Ellen is here today to give us an update as to what's going on at the Senate and how you can get involved. Welcome back, Ellen. How are you? Great, thanks, Patrick. Lovely to be back and thanks for having me. So last time you were on the show, we heard about the Votes at 16 campaign and all about the Senate elections in May. What have you been up to in the meantime? Well, the election was a very busy time and it was great to see newly enfranchised 16 and 17 year olds go out and use their votes for the first time in Senate elections. Since that, we launched the Welsh Youth Parliament's election campaign, culminating in the new Welsh Youth Parliament members being announced in December of 2021. Can you tell me what exactly is the Welsh Youth Parliament? Of course. Every two to three years, young people between the ages of 11 to 18 get an opportunity to stand for election and get a vote for who they want to represent them in the next Welsh Youth Parliament. 60 Welsh Youth Parliament members have just been elected. So what has the Welsh Youth Parliament achieved so far? The first ever Welsh Youth Parliament stood between 2018 and 2020. They decided to concentrate on three key topics, which were lit and plastic waste, emotional and mental health and life skills in the curriculum. They spoke to young people and experts about these matters and held the government to account by writing reports to which the Welsh Government Ministers had to respond. Now, did the Youth Parliament get to meet the members of the Senate too? Many Ministers of the Cabinet met the young people to discuss their work. The Llywydd chaired the Welsh Youth Parliament's full meeting and the young people themselves experienced opportunities to meet the members of the Senate and those politicians that were committee chairs who also responded to their report. Sounds like an amazing experience for those young people. Absolutely. We have incredible young people that are passionate about their beliefs and are really committed to giving a voice to young people. We feel really fortunate. We can't wait to see what the next cohort um, will do and you can follow their progress by going on Welsh Youth Parliament website and our social media channels. Now what's next for the Senate education team? So as well as helping the new Welsh Youth Parliament settle in, Since the Welsh Youth Parliament campaign has finished, we're now free to offer sessions to schools and youth clubs. Our sessions are free of charge and anyone who's interested in the session can book by phoning 0300 200 6565. The number is also on the CNED website. What kind of things do you do in the sessions? We start from seven years of age and cater all the way up to 25. We can do short assembly sessions and longer 45 minute sessions where pupils and young people can learn about the Senate, its purpose and how they can get involved by creating a petition following the Welsh Youth Parliament and meeting their members. We can also do sessions for A-level and AS um, sessions of classes as well. The sessions can be offered in English or Welsh and we can also do specific sessions for school councils and youth groups. Do you get to meet the members of the Senate in your sessions? Any given session, the five relevant members of the Senate will receive an invite to any session that we arrange. So it's very possible that you may get your members of the Senate pop into your session. Sounds fab. Now, can you remind us of the details again, Ellen? Of course. The magic number, Patrick, to call is 0300 200 6565. We offer virtual sessions at present, but always follow Welsh Government guidelines for any future face-to-face sessions. Thanks for joining me today, Ellen. Thanks, Patrick. Great to see you again. And don't forget, if you want to contact TVA, Torvine Voluntary Alliance, for anything regarding the third sector here in Torvine, get in touch regarding funding, volunteering, any kind of support or governance. Info at tvawales.org.uk. You can also find us on social media, on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter at TVA Wales, or, of course, on the website. It's all there at tvawales.org.uk. This podcast is produced by TVA, Torvine Voluntary Alliance. 